Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about the Angular Material Tooltip component. A tooltip is a small message that appears next to an element above, below, on the left, or on the right. We can set how fast for it to appear, or how long for it to disappear when we move away. It can be toggled by an event, or by moving the mouse cursor over the element. To begin, add the Material Tooltip module to the app. Go to the App Module file, add the import statement, and add it to the app. Go to an HTML page and locate the element that you want to apply the tooltip to. To add the tooltip, apply the map tooltip directive and then give it a value. If your tooltip message requires you to change based on certain events, you should use a variable instead. Wrap the tooltip directive in brackets. Then go to the TypeScript file and declare a string variable. Go back to the tooltip element in the HTML page and replace the string value with the variable. To reposition the tooltip, apply the map tooltip position input and set it to either above, below, left or right. To change how fast you want the tooltip to appear, apply the map tooltip show delay input and pass in the amount of time in milliseconds. This will make the tooltip appear 2 seconds after we toggle it. To set how fast you want the tooltip to go away, apply the Math Tooltip High Delay input and pass in the amount of time in milliseconds as well. This will make the tooltip disappear 1 second after we untoggle it. Instead of toggling the tooltip using the mouse cursor, we can manually toggle it with an event. Locate the element with the Mat Tooltip directive, remove the Mat Tooltip show and high delay inputs, and give it a template reference ID. Pass in Mat Tooltip and add a button element. Lastly, attach a click event to it. Instead of passing in a custom function, grab the tooltip element reference ID and then call the toggle function. This will toggle the tooltip on and off when the button is clicked on. Instead of using a single button to toggle the tooltip, we can divide the task into two separate actions. Add another button and attach a click event. From the earlier button, call the show function and in the newer button, call the high function. The show function will make the tooltip appear and the high function will make it disappear. That's all for the tooltip component. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.